Hi, I just wanted to show you how to edit your videos with Camtasia. So I'm just going to go in and find the Camtasia Studio project file. Um, here we go, Pilates Camtasia source files. I'm just going to open this and I'm going to just choose one of these and extract all of the files. Just click into the folder and find the file that looks like this. It'll say Camtasia Studio Project. So I'm just going to double click on this and it will load up in Camtasia. Now you can see there's a few areas to Camtasia. You, you've got a, a preview of the video on the right. There's all of the files that you can use on the left. And there's the timeline down the bottom. The first line here is the, the background video that we're using. In this case it's um, just taken from a slideshow. Then on top of that there are a number of callouts. There's text callouts. Um, if, if you just click on it up in the preview window, you'll see that you can edit it over here to the left. You can, you can edit it just as you would in a program such as Microsoft Word. You can change the size and, and the text color and all of those things. If you want to get rid of it completely, you just click on it down here in the timeline and just hit the delete button and that will remove uh, that text. I'm just going to undo that and leave it there. If you want to brand your video with your website, you're going to need um, you're going to have to include a text callout. So click on callouts here and find the text callout button up here and it will come up with a text box. Position the text box where you want your text to go in the video and just on the left type in your website address. Next come down to the timeline and you can move the text box wherever you want in the timeline. You can um, extend it or shorten it. In this case I want it to run through the entire video so I'm going to extend it all the way um, to the end of the video. Okay, so I've included a text call out throughout, throughout the entire video. Um, and you can change the color if you'd like. If you want to remove some of this text and add a few images instead, you can just click on the text call out and hit delete. Um, click on clip bin. If you don't have any photos here, you can import media. Just click on import media and choose um, the photos that you'd like to import. In this case, I've got one already here, so I'm just going to click on it and drag it into the timeline. And in the preview window, you can move the image around to wherever you like, wherever you would like it to go. You can increase the size or reduce it as well. So I'm just going to leave it there. Okay, so we have the background video, we have uh, the callouts, and there's a couple of audio lines here as well. The first one is the background music. I'm not sure if you can hear that. And there's also the voiceover. So if you wanted to remove the voiceover, you can just click on it and hit delete, and it, that just leaves um, the background music. When you are finished editing your video, if you want to produce this in a format that can be used on your website or on places such as YouTube, you can just click on Produce and Share, choose Web and click Next, type in the name of your file and uh, um, choose, the, choose the location where you want it to be saved and just click on Finish.